Hey guys, welcome back for another video review and today I'll be reviewing the awesome Hatsune Miku uh, Racing 2015 version uh, from Crane King uh, and Presto and this is the SQ quality version. Now, there is a couple of versions of this, you've got the Figma out uh, coming out and you have the Scale figure which is absolutely gorgeous, then you have the cheaper alternative, this figure. Now this is classed as a um, like Sega prize figurine from Crane King, so this would be the cheap alternative if you haven't got any money. But I can safely say that this figure is absolutely awesome, and the detail on it is very stunning. For a very cheap small figurine, I'm very impressed, and I'll show you that uh, why in a minute. So as you can do, guys, I'm going to give a 360 view on the box. So as you can see, I'm going to get a little zoom up on the front here. Got a beautiful illustration of the figurine itself and a bit of art in the background portraying the actual character in a different way, it's more like a manga way. Um, as you can see, you've got the various companies involved, which I just mentioned. You've got Crane King, SQ, uh, Bam Presto, and yeah, you've got the uh, Good Smile Racing logo just there. On the bottom, this is uh, just saying it's like a number one prize. As you can see, there it looks really cool figurine, as you can see. Okay, on the side you've got more of a close-up figurine, picture of the figurine here. Um, just have a little thing saying a uh, good smile racing, racing Miku 2015. And on the other side you have a back view of the character. Rather cool. On the back here doesn't show you much information, it's just basic uh, Japanese intel here of telling you what com companies were involved in this production and whatever. And you have a little small picture, a few pictures at the top here, just showing off the figurine in a nice presented way. Okay, so once we have that out of the way with, got the massive logo there of SQ, and on the bottom, the same thing. So that's the box finished guys, let's show the review of the figurine. So, here she is guys, she's fully assembled and ready to display. Um, so as you can see, she looks really nice and I'm very impressed with the detail. Um, the only thing that's a bit of a drag is the base, it's kind of basic but then what can you expect from a cheap figurine? It's not a high end figurine so you can't really expect much from the base either. So yeah, we'll give a 360 view of her and then we'll uh, take a look at the details. So we'll have a more of that. Out zoomed look here so you can see the full figurine in motion. As you can see it looks really nice and I'm very impressed with it. I'm loving the details. Um, definitely worth the purchase. This is a very cheap figure guys and don't be afraid to buy this because it's cheap. It is well worth it to add to your collection. Uh, nothing wrong with this figure whatsoever. The only thing I can deter is um, the umbrella she's holding in her hand or sword if you want to quit Lance does have a tricky way of getting it into her hand and staying there but once you figure it out and know where to pull it and you get the fixings right it is not a problem whatsoever so you can safely say that this figure is, is, is problem free really so yeah so we'll do a quick zoom in now guys to show you the awesome details that this Miku has to offer and yeah I can pretty safely assume that this figurine is Looking, it is just sexy. I just love love the expression on this figurine. Got all the Good Smile uh, company logos over the Good Smile Racing logo on there. You've got the Krypton Media, Krypton Future Media Inc. there and the logo. You've got a uh, free in on her shoe. If you can see that, guys. I just said quickly. You can see you can't really see it there, but it says free in on the bottom of her shoe. I love the way her skirt is. It looks really cute. Really like just presents itself really well. You can see all the logos on the front of her top there. I love in the attire as well, it's freaking fantastic. There's your uh, weapon of choice that she uses. I'm loving her boots as well, her boots are fantastic. I love the gold and looks like a gold, gold, gold effect around his shoes or sort of like a graceful effect on there. Only thing I can really like compare this to is sort of like um, King Arthur times like Knight of the Round Table sort of thing like Knights of the Round Table because it looks like she's wearing actually armour because if you look on her um, hands like, on her arms even like gauntlets and whatnot, as you can see there 
see our other hand when it comes around and see it a lot easier. I'll stop it now so we don't need to see a 360 view all the time. Okay, so as I was saying, you can see the gauntlet that comes down from her elbow down to uh, cover the top of her hand. And she has the old uh, tights there. Interesting design. You can turn her around, get a proper good view of her. I do love the crown she's wearing, it's really cool. Love her expression on her face. Got a little random little miniature tie there, which she normally wears, but she also, you know, she normally wears a longer one, but yeah. But yeah, overall this is a brilliant figure and I'm really impressed by it. I'm loving the hair as well. Lovely marine, sort of like turquoisey, dark marine blue colouring going on here, mixture of colours. Uh, very beautiful, very uh, eye-catching. As you can see from the side there, it's really nice. Loving this. As you can see on her side of her head, you have a good smile logo here, the face. Yeah, it is just a really nice figurine. 100% recommend you to, uh, to buy this, guys. It is just well worth it. Just a stunner of a piece. Well guys, that's it for the review. I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this beautiful figure down below in the comments. I think she is gorgeous and she is definitely worth buying as I keep saying. I know I keep saying it but I'm just trying to convince you guys to buy the damn thing because she is so worth it. She's just amazing. And uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you liked this review, if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support and feedback. Okay guys, thanks for watching, see you soon for more news and reviews and take care.